Hello everyone, Shrieks here, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. We're playing the first game of Crash Bandicoot's Insane Trilogy. And we're already making uh, very good progress in that. We only have one more stage to do on the second island. We have one more boss stage to take care of on the second island. And then we have already reached uh, Cortex's island. We are uh, nearing the end. But of course, the game is far from done. The hardest part of the game is still coming up. But before we actually uh, take care of our uh, required route towards the final boss of uh, World 2. And then moving on to the next world. Which is of course all required in order to beat the game. There's one other thing that we're going to do first. And that's something that is not required to beat the game. <laughs> we got ourselves a key here in Sunset Vista. Because of completing a Cortex bonus. And that will actually unlock an optional stage called Whole Hawk. And that is indeed going to be the second hawk stage, where Crash will actually climb on the back of a hawk. And we will do an on-rail stage, where we can only move left and right and jump. Once again, going through the village. <laughs> of course, this one's going to be a lot harder than the first one was. As you can clearly see, I'm already not able to do the first jump. <laughs> Let's try that again. At least the music is nice here. <laughs> you can jump as late as possible here. Jump. Yeah, don't jump here. Don't forget about the crates. It's still going to be for a clear gem this stage. Even though the stage itself is not required for beating the game. For 100% it is of course still required. Because it's still going to give us a clear gem. The moment we clear the stage. Oh. It was close. <laughs> Right, hit right, left, right, left, right, <laughs> left, right, <laughs> and yeah, also good, hug right, and done, well, that went smoothly, <laughs> one key, nine gems, and 47% complete. Almost halfway done when it comes to completing the game. Let's go add some more percentages to that, shall we? With the optional stage now out of the way, there's only one more stage left here on the second island before we can move on to Cortex Central, you might say. <laughs> and that indeed is going to be a boss stage. The third one of the game, after Papu Papu and Ripperoo. The third boss of this game is going to be Koala Kong. Yet another poor Australian creature that got mangled by Dr. Neocortex. This guy was actually made the muscly guy. <laughs> and how he's going to use his muscles, we're going to see right now. He's going to throw rocks at us. <laughs> we need to be careful because on our side some TNT crates will actually start appearing. We need to wait for him to throw a really large one. Because that one... Once he throws it, stays around for us to actually return to him. <laughs> Do need to time that correctly, because as you can see, there's some minecarts uh, going around the stage as well. We need to make sure we don't hit those, because then it will actually block our attack. <laughs> wait for him to throw his rock. Then wait for the minecarts to be out of the way, and hit it back so it hits Koala Kong. That's how we do this one. And of course, the more we hit him, the more difficult staying alive will actually become. He will throw more rocks and more TNT crates will come on our way. Just stay as far away from them as possible. By hugging the edge or something like that. And bam. One more hit. We are done here. Close eye on where everything actually uh, pops up. Okay, the crates in the middle, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there we go. It was a bit of a close one in the end, but... Uh, did it first try. Bye, sir. <laughs> awesome. Just like the first boss, another boss that I was able to defeat without getting killed myself. Unlike the second boss, which I still think is harder than this one. <laughs> but anyway, welcome... To the final island of Crash Bandicoot. It is of course going to be the longest and hardest one. So don't think we are almost done. <laughs> it's not going to be that simple. 
It is in fact going to be the opposite of simple. The hardest stages of the game can be found over here. The first one is just a simple normal stage for a clear gem called Heavy Machinery. Welcome to the first factory stage. Most of the colored gems are also going to be in this island of course. The green gem is going to be the only exception. That was the only one that was already in World 2. Uh, these things we can actually spin, but um, these ones I cannot reach. <laughs> Just need to avoid them. Uh, one of the gimmicks here is the ice and fire pipes. The ice pipes we can actually stand on. They are going to be slippery, but at least we can stand on them. These fire ones we cannot stand on, so... <laughs> Don't try doing that. That's something you need to remember here in the factory stages. Let's see if I remember where the secret was in here. There's going to be one part where you need to fall down in one of the pits here. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Because the enemy is actually indicating there's something here. Because why else would they uh, float around in the spot where they normally cannot hit us? <laughs> we can indeed go down here. There's going to be crates here. One of them actually being a Brio symbol. So, two reasons to go down here. Not just for crates, but also because of a bonus. Oh, oops. <laughs> now we are allowed to continue. Okay, this is a tricky jump. Oh! Yeah, I can barely make that. Second Brio symbol. Another far jump. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And remember to also destroy the trampoline crate. As long as it's a crate, we need to destroy them. Only the metal boxes we cannot destroy, and therefore are also not required for the completion of the stage. <laughs> Spin! Goodbye. Luckily you can still kill these guys. I'm pretty sure you cannot jump on them. But you can still spin them in order to defeat them. Let's head down. You can also jump down of course. If you're able to land on the ledge. <laughs> so avoid these guys. These kind of robots we cannot spin. Not jump and not spin. <laughs> these guys are just undestroyable for us. Tana number two. Two symbols of each. Whoa! <laughs> I tried to land on them, of course, not to land in between them. <laughs> but I still got away with it. Did not get hit, so. I'm not complaining here. Okay, here's the Tana bonus. So of course, this crate is going to have the final Tana symbol. Wouldn't be fair otherwise. <laughs> First bonus of the stage is going to be the simple one. Just one giant bounce of 19 crates by the looks of it. Be careful for striped ones, of course. Those we need to hit five times before they break. So do keep counting. And don't get surprised by a sudden uh, explosion of that crate. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. Out of here. <laughs> awesome. 19 crates get added. And yes, this is indeed also a stage that we can immediately finish off for the clear gem. If you don't have to come back to this one later with a special gem. This one we can immediately uh, finish off. Point. Always nice to have. Even though we did uh, just got out of a bonus, so <laughs> it's not really uh, that necessary, but still. Aku, which is uh, invincibility, even. <laughs> That's a rare sight in the third world. But of course, still possible. Up here. Great up here. It looks like I have all of them. Be careful for these floating platforms. Sometimes they can actually surprise you. Especially if they get uh, placed in a. Uh, 
direct line with the rest of the platforms and you don't always recognize them as floating platforms. <laughs> I can actually remember making that mistake the first time I played this stage. I actually uh, tried to play carefully and therefore halted my running constantly. And actually managed to stop my running right above one of those floating platforms. <laughs> and I indeed suddenly died. <laughs> So far, dying has not happened yet in this stage. We are going to try the next Dr. Brio stage. This one, of course, being a more difficult one. Oh yeah, it's going to be this one. This is a more advanced uh, bouncing compared to the previous one we did. <laughs> Heading back left. Now the real difficult part. We're so high up, we can't really see where we're going. Making the final couple of bounces quite difficult. <laughs> Yeah, not surprising that we do end up dying here. Even though you can't really uh, die in the bonus, of course, I know, but uh, we do need to retry. Exclamation box, not left. No. Yeah, this is a pretty far jump to make in all honesty, so. <laughs> make sure not to hold back over there. Which is easier said than done, because most of these uh, jumps you do need to hold back, of course. You cannot do this while fully holding your control button. Because if you do, with some jumps you will actually overshoot. This one we also need to do fully. Hold back on these ones. And there we go. Awesome. Four more boxes on the final platform course also required so don't forget about those and we can add another 30 to our total now it's uh, up to us to finish off the stage normally the bonuses are taken care of there's still a bit of stage left of course but not a whole lot we are nearing the end another trampoline section there's also going to be crates in this section of course so keep an eye out on the Left side of the screen. Here's the first one. Now it's right in order to go upward. Next couple of crates are also going to be on the right side. So bounce up here. Yeah, and then we actually meet them. <laughs> and that should be all of them. Yeah, because here's the clear gem. The stage was completed. And that was the first one of the third island. It is also going to mean our 10th gem. And we passed the halfway point of completing this game. 52%. Of course, we technically uh, are way past the halfway point already. But we don't have all of the gems yet for some of the earlier stages. So, <laughs> we are still missing a couple of percentages. Next stage is going to be the final one. Before we actually meet the first stage that's going to give us a special gem. And this one is still going to be for a regular gem. Cortex Power. Even though we are not going to get the gem in here, of course. This stage we need to come back to later, because this one requires the blue gem. Hi, Coco. <laughs> Time for us to go into the factory. A different kind of factory stage compared to the previous one we did. <laughs> that one was more of a 2D platformer. This one is more of a top-down uh, platformer again, as you can see. Time your jump so you don't get electrocuted here. Even more difficult with these ones. Having an Aku Aku with me is always a good thing. And now, split pathway. Things really get complicated here. Since we don't have to go for all of the crates in the stage, we don't have to worry about going uh, across both of the pathways. I will actually simply go left for now. Oh! Gunslinger, help. <laughs> Go away, you. He's actually going to be an indication for the next boss fight that we're going to do. <laughs> it's actually one of my favorite boss stages uh, from uh, Crash Bandicoot, actually, the next one. But more about him later. Here we find the blue platform, which is, of course, not active yet. The blue gem we're going to find in a later stage here in World 3. Returning to that later. Therefore, we're going to continue this way. This is actually also where the split pathways meet up again. If we had it right in the first split pathway, we'd have uh, ended up here. 
I think I'm not going to bother checking out what's over there. Once we go uh, play the stage for 100%, I'll be back there anyway, so... Getting off the crates that are over there. I don't have to worry about right now. We're simply going to continue towards the end. One up that I cannot carry. We are going to meet up with a couple of platforms that are going to be inactive. The split pathway to the right that I ignored is going to have a switch at some point. Let's actually uh, activate a couple of platforms around here. Not these ones. These ones are always active, apparently. Oh yeah, it's going to be these ones. As you can see, there's light out platforms over here. So don't worry about finding a switch. That one's actually in a different point in the level. We'll be meeting up with that much, much later. Once we replay the stage in order to get the gem in here. Speaking of getting gems, something uh, that we're able to do in the next stage again. First we're going to finish off this one. Great, but you've missed. This is going to take a while, by the way. <laughs> Freaking 26 boxes. As if we weren't even trying this time around. <laughs> no. I was indeed not trying, game. <laughs> but I'm going to try in the next stage. Because it is time for the generator room. Which is going to lead towards the yellow gem. Break every box without dying to earn a special gem. Just like with the lost city, the generator room also needs to be cleared without dying. And therefore saying, you're not allowed to use the checkpoints. Of course, you are allowed to die. <laughs> but you do need to retry the stage from the beginning again. Otherwise, it does not count. Now let's go around you. <laughs> the game thinks it's smart. The game is smart, but uh, I'm smart too, sometimes. <laughs> okay, make sure to hit this switch. Because if you do... All of the lined out platforms over here to the right will actually uh, become active. Let's go try to ignore the crates that are here because we need to go back at some point as well. And this platform will actually fall the moment it's not being uh, held up anymore. So don't stand on this platform for too long. And only break the crates on the way back because otherwise uh, the platform is going to fall sooner. And you're going to be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> Donna symbol. Of course, those are also here. The stage is still going to have a bonus. And remember, in the bonus we are allowed to die. If that uh, happens to happen. Although, I'm still going to try to prevent dying in there too, of course. <laughs> but uh, let's go see if we can do it in one go. Here is the bonus. Time for another bounce. And is it also going to be a bouncing bonus? <laughs> Looks like it is. No. Not really easy. The one in the Lost City was definitely a lot harder. <laughs> Our total is 31. Let's make that 32. And continue on with this stage. Oh. Ow. <laughs> bounce. 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 Break. Break. And we can continue. Wait for this platform. Never rush it too much. It only get you into trouble. This is not time attack yet. In time attack you do need to rush, but... Uh, <laughs> there we have different problems to think about. Checkpoint. Not a useless one, because if I happen to die, I need to start all the way over, of course. <laughs> Just like with the Lost City, where I also managed to die all the way at the end. <laughs> I definitely want to try to do this one without dying at all. So not even with a retry. Careful for the TNT crates here. Also make sure not to miss this jump. It's not a straight jump, so... <laughs> you can also easily miss that jump. And then make our way to the end. This is going to be the final platform. Jump over the fire bars here. Next ones are going to be ice bars, but be careful they can still push you off. Let's 
Success. This platform is not going to trick me. I would be ashamed if that actually still tricked me. <laughs> I'm heading towards this uh, pinstripe door. <laughs> will award us with the special gem the moment we complete the stage. Give me that yellow gem. Thank you very much. We win yet another stage. And this time even with a special gem. Which is going to give us the ability to return to an earlier stage. In order to still finish that one off. So it's nice and everything. The toxic waste will also give us another special gem. <laughs> Before we check out the next special gem. We are first going to return to an earlier stage. To finish that one off with the yellow gem now in our pocket. Next time we are going to continue with Crash Bandicoot in an earlier stage. Don't mind me if I actually don't uh, remember from my memory which one that was. But I'll look it up beforehand. So it's a perfect time that I can now cut this episode. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Our adventure towards Dr. Neo Cortex will continue in the next episode. Treaks out. And see you folks next weekend.